traditional school. We know choosing a school for your child can be a daunting experience, and we hope this video provides you with information that will help in that decision. Cheyenne was founded in 1997 by a group of passionate Scottsdale parents with a desire to create a back-to-basics learning environment for kindergarten through 8th grade students. With the support of the Scottsdale Unified School District, Cheyenne was established as the first SUSD traditional school. Cheyenne has one principal, one assistant principal, a registered nurse, and a part-time guidance counselor. Cheyenne has four classes at each grade level and our school is comprised of more than 1,000 students. School starts at 7.45 a.m. and is dismissed at 2.15 p.m. Kindergarten students begin their school year with three half days. Upon arrival in the morning, all kindergarten through third grade children enter in from the south side of the building, where the kindergarten through third grade playground is located. Students line up when the 7.40 bell rings and walk to their classrooms with their teacher. Fourth through eighth grade students enter from the north side of the campus, where the fourth through eighth grade playground is located. Cheyenne students may not arrive on the playground before 7.20 a.m. as there is no supervision. There are two separate drop-off and pick-up areas. All grades may utilize both drop-offs in the morning. For afternoon pickup, the south pickup area is to be used by kindergarten and first grade only. All doors are locked once school starts. Parents need to check in and get a visitor badge in the front office in order to enter the campus. All children are given an ID badge at the start of the school year for their safety. Our discipline policy at Cheyenne is to provide each student with the best educational opportunity available. In order to do this, discipline must be maintained in the school. No student will be allowed to disrupt the educational process of another student. In most cases, the classroom teacher will handle discipline. If further assistance is needed, students will be referred to the assistant principal. If a problem continues to persist or a child is sent to the principal, parents will be notified and a conference may be scheduled. Kindergarten through fourth grade utilize a stoplight system. A traffic light monthly calendar is placed in each student's take-home folder. A parent needs to initial the traffic sheet if they have a green light with a W, which means the student was given two warnings, yellow light or a red light. A yellow light means the two warnings were given verbally and the behavior continued. Five minutes of the next recess is missed. A red light means the yellow light behavior continued or behavior was destructive, such as hitting, fighting, throwing rocks, cursing, etc. At the 5th through 8th grade levels, the communication card is used and carried with the students at all times. If the student's communication card is signed more than three times in a week, they are sent to the vice principal. At each grade level, there is positive reinforcement for good behavior, focus, and hard work. Cheyenne uses PBIS, Positive Behavior Intervention and Support. When a child displays positive behavior, they are given a yellow ticket by a teacher or staff member. The student in turn places this ticket in the grade level bucket in hopes to have their card pulled at the end of the week, month, and year to win a prize. Cheyenne Traditional School was founded on nine cornerstones. Number one, Cheyenne is a school of choice, not a home school. Anyone can attend Cheyenne Traditional School provided they meet the criteria of open enrollment and secure a spot through our lottery. 2. A focus on academics. 3. Linear, sequential curriculum with an emphasis on mastering, Spalding, language arts, Saxon math, science, and social studies. Number 4. Teacher-directed textbook-based instruction. Whether conducting group work, lectures, classroom discussions, or individual work time, teachers fully direct all classroom activities. Number five, an elevated grading scale. 93 to 100% is an A. 84 to 92% is a B. 72 to 83% is a C. 60 to 71% is a D. Below 60% is an F. Number six, maximum use of academic time. Our scheduling is structured to ensure reduced interruptions during classroom academic time. Number seven, 
parental commitment, involvement, and support. Each year, parents must sign a statement of support, agreeing to abide by the school's traditional philosophy, homework efforts, dress code, attendance, and tardy policy, consult with teachers and or administration, and participate in parent meetings and school projects. We believe that educating children is a shared partnership in learning between the teachers, parents, and students in order for them to achieve their highest potential. Number eight, high expectations for all. Number nine, school uniforms. Cheyenne Traditional School has a mandatory uniform policy for all students. This fosters an atmosphere conducive to learning, instills a sense of pride and positive self-worth, and alleviates social pressures. All shirts must have collars and sleeves with no logos except the Cheyenne Traditional School logo. Shirts must be navy, light blue, or white. All pants, shorts, and skirts must be khaki or navy. The length of shorts, skirts, and dresses must be just above the knee. A successful Cheyenne student prefers a quiet, structured environment, understands the need for and respects rules and authority, puts school attendance and required homework as a top priority daily, is self-motivated, focused, and takes pride in working towards goals and personal best, possesses the ability to organize work and prioritize tasks, is respectful of others and willingly models expected behavior, actively engages in all levels of learning and academic challenges, enjoys the challenges of higher level critical thinking, understands that all learning is a personal responsibility, is able to follow authority and direct instruction, is compliant with the school uniform policy. Here's a look at some of the academic experiences your children will participate in at Cheyenne. Oh. What word could we use this in? Elsa? Oh. Boat. Students start learning Spalding English in kindergarten. Spalding continues through fifth grade. She could feel the excitement of the crowd. First syllable is S. Then we'll write S. And then you'll add Mets. Within the Spalding Language Arts program, students learn the proper technique of handwriting, literature, composition, and phonics. As you see from this passage, one halfway through, we probably had 25 pronouns. Students continue to learn Spalding English and grammar all the way through eighth grade. Does a parallelogram have to be an exact square? Students at Cheyenne Traditional School also learn Saxon math. Our students really enjoy science. I want you to look at that picture, and I want you to tell me what is that picture missing? Taught in a science lab on campus. Special classes at Cheyenne Traditional School include art. All students take general music. And in fourth grade, Cheyenne students have the option of general music, band, or strings. Finally, Cheyenne also offers library and physical education. Junior high school students in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade also take Spanish as part of their core curriculum. What's piensas? To think, to think yeah. Uh. In most cases, Cheyenne students have satisfied Spanish 1 requirements for high school and are able to enter high school taking Spanish 2. Humanities and language arts are also taught as two separate 50-minute classes, while other middle schools combine these subjects. The separation allows teachers to teach these courses on a deeper level. Cheyenne also offers Algebra 1. Cheyenne's middle school offers many activities like Odyssey of the Mind, Toastmasters, CTS News, Student Government, and National Junior Honor Society. These activities help to promote leaders within the Cheyenne community. Cheyenne's middle school team sports include football, soccer, softball, baseball, volleyball, basketball, track, and cheerleading. We've excelled in many sports and have provided an opportunity for students to stay active and learn good sportsmanship while creating lasting friendships. Cheyenne hosts several community events and school fundraisers throughout the year, including our Harvest Festival, Scholastic Book Fair, Artists in Residence, Evening Under the Stars, and an annual golf tournament. These community events have created a strong community within our campus. 
Cheyenne has many warm, friendly families that have created lasting friendships in and outside of school. With our dedicated teachers, high achieving students, and parent commitment, Cheyenne has become one of the highest enrollment schools in the Scottsdale Unified School District. We hope that this has been informative and it gives you a better sense of what Cheyenne is all about and why our programs make us so special and successful. Our office staff and administration is happy to answer any questions you may have regarding whether or not Cheyenne is a good fit for you and your child. We strive for academic success for each and every child. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Keith Bender. Uh, I graduated from Cheyenne in 2007. I attended Cheyenne Traditional School from kindergarten on. I started here in its second year. Uh, after Cheyenne, I went to Brophy College Preparatory, and now I'm a junior at Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Looking back on my years at Cheyenne, uh, I'm thankful for all of the extracurricular activities in which I was able to get involved. Those ranged from the Cheyenne Traditional uh, News Team to National Junior Honor Society. I was in student council from fourth grade through eighth grade here. And uh, I, outside of that, I did Odyssey of the Mind and Toastmasters and just a, a number of different things that prepared me academically and, and professionally. So at Cheyenne, wearing a uniform was something that I never expected to be an aspect of uh, attending a school, but uh, it seamlessly integrated into my academic experience because it wasn't just what you were learning, but it was how you approach learning. And wearing a uniform is an approach to learning. It shows that you're taking school seriously. Uh, and, you know, it shows that you are going to come into class every day and you're not going to be worried about how you're dressing, you're going to be worried about how you're learning. Uh, and to me that was something that was very important uh, day in and day out. Uh, it allowed all of us to focus on what was most important and that was school and the relationships we built with each other and with our teachers here. Though it's been about six or seven years since I went to Cheyenne, uh, I reflect on the learning experience I had here and I consider Cheyenne to have prepared me for a lifetime of learning. Uh, to be restlessly inquisitive, to always ask questions, and to know that uh, no matter who's going to be answering those questions, that it's important to be asking questions, it's important to always be learning and to always be curious. Um, and that's something from Cheyenne that I've managed to take with me still through, you know, six, seven years after graduating. And I, I know and I look forward to uh, applying in the future wherever I will be. Hi, my name's Callan and I attended Cheyenne Traditional School uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. I'm currently a senior at Desert Round High School and will be attending the Barrett's Honors College at Arizona State University in the fall. Uh, my current activities include being a Scottsdale Honors Cotillion debutante, a member of National Charity League, National Honor Society, uh, and the captain of the Desert Mountain Varsity Girls Soccer Team, as well as being selected as an Arizona American Legion Girls State Delegate. While at Cheyenne, I had the opportunity to participate in the Odyssey of the Mind, which allowed me to get a jump start in math and science with the basis I already had with the curriculum here. I worked closely with my 7th and 8th grade science teacher, Mr. Epley, in participating in math and science-based competitions to allow me to really be prepared for my high school years. I think Cheyenne has prepared me specifically in an English language and composition element. Um, I would have to dedicate almost all of that to my 8th grade uh, English teacher, Mrs. Detala. I was one of few students to score a perfect score on my Ames writing section as a sophomore, which I think helped prepare me for scoring very well on my AP English exams, as well as being part of uh, the IB program at Desert Mountain. Hi, my name is Ada McCabe, and I'm currently a senior at Bokey College Preparatory. Uh, I started attending Cheyenne in third grade, and I attended from third grade to eighth grade, so six years. And I really think Cheyenne helped prepare me for high school. Um, in Cheyenne, I was involved with National Junior Honor Society. I was involved in the advanced classes. I was involved in the sports programs. And I was involved in Toastmasters. And uh, one thing that really stands out to me in my experience at Cheyenne was the Toastmasters. Because I feel that was really integral and a really important part of my experience in middle school. Mainly because it's unique to Cheyenne. No other school really has the Toastmasters program. Uh, Toastmasters, I feel, really helped me begin to articulate like my words and in terms of like public speaking, in terms of social interactions, in terms of all of that, 
I, in high school, having to do presentations and stuff for my classes, I feel like Toastmasters really helped me prepare for that and really set the stage for my experience with public speaking in high school. I feel like there's really a sense of community that you get from Cheyenne. I know all the teachers, I come back and visit the teachers. It was really, it, was, it really feels, it felt important to me to be a part of this and to still be a part of this. Overall, I feel like Cheyenne really helped me prepare for high school in terms of giving me the community feeling, in terms of Toastmasters, and especially in terms of the uh, rigor that you get at Cheyenne. Uh, Cheyenne is definitely a more rigorous, has more rigorous academics than I would say other schools. And I feel like that really helped me prepare for the coursework and the workload that you get in high school. Hi, my name is John Fioriti and I am a senior at Brophy College Preparatory. I went to Cheyenne from fourth through eighth grade. What I think is very important about Cheyenne is that they give you a planner at the end of each trimester, which helps you really organize your thoughts and uh, your different commitments that you have throughout the day. Because being an athlete as well as being an excelling student, at Cheyenne specifically, there's so many things going on that I personally wanted to be involved in. And so having a planner really allowed me to organize all of those things so I was able to not only do them, but do them to the best of my ability. Hi there, my name is Jack Park and I attended Cheyenne from uh, kindergarten to eighth grade. I'm currently enrolled at Brophy College Preparatory. While at Cheyenne, I participate in the NJHS and also in accelerated language and math programs. I'm also a National Merit Scholar, which I think really um, stem from the, the accelerated programs here at Cheyenne. Um, so I really feel like a lot of the things that I've done with my high school career have found their genesis here at Cheyenne. 